Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. Uh, this will be number two of Boris Graffiti. So uh, today I'm going to go more into the interface and show you how you can create your own um, designs or your own effect I should say. Uh, okay, so put your footage in the timeline and drag your Boris FX filter on your footage. Double click and go into your custom filter. So today we're going to work with the uh, main interface and we'll get rid of the uh, text box. So what do we got here? Well, this window here is your composite window or your preview window. This is how where you can see your effect. Here is your control window. This is where you can see different functions and features of what your text is doing, positions, rotating, opacity, scale, the size of your text uh, as it moves around. This window here is your timeline window. That footage of little boy is represented by video one. So whatever length that is, it's going to create the exact timeline here. And then here, this is where all your attributes are. So if I see the word text, which I haven't used yet, that's okay. If I open the triangle, I'm going to bring a host of other transit um, effects into play, which I can also alter. But again, we'll get to that another day. Uh, so what we're going to do today, well let's say you just want to fly some text in and let it sit there in the middle of the screen. Okay, We're going to do something very basic. So double click on the word text because that's what you want to work with. Or you can go to uh, Windows, Text Window, it's either way. It all works the same. So let's type in uh, the word future. Okay. Now, if uh, you've been working on this, let's say, let's say you have a really, really ugly color. <laughs> okay, so don't want this color. Very simple. Just uh, highlight it, double click. You can drag or double click, and then reset style, and that brings you back to the uh, the, the base font. That's the best I can describe it. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy with the title. Uh, text. I'm just going to update it and take off the screen. Okay, so here is my text, and I wish for it to fly in. Let it sit there. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, first off, we highlight our first keyframe. Then we'll drag it off screen to wherever we want. So as you can see, also my control windows here. Uh, it also moves the slider. So you can do both. You can grab here as well and move it. So that's it. Okay, so let's say you wanted the flight from the, from here and you wanted the flight sitting at the bottom here. Okay, so if I did this now, what you'll see will go basically to the middle. And then there it is. Okay, very easy. But you'll notice that because my clip is only about five seconds long, that the minute the footage hits dead sensor it disappears you don't give it time for anybody to actually read it because it's as it's traveling uh, you can't really you know you can read it but it's not fun so how do we stop it from you know getting to the center and then disappearing well it also depends on your clip naturally so my clip is say nearly five seconds was four something so by the two second mark I wish it to be in the middle and do nothing else okay so about the two second mark I now wish it to be sitting in the middle or like I said, I wanted to sit at the bottom, so I'm going to drag it to the bottom. Now, if I press play, what you'll find, it will go to the bottom, and then it will go to the center again. This is not what we want. So how do we fix this from floating back up? Because what it's doing, it's going from this keyframe to that keyframe to this keyframe. So the attributes in this keyframe is different to this. Naturally, that this is going to move. So, do we copy and paste and put it all in here? Well, we can, but we can do something different. Just click on your keyframe, so it goes red, and then go to your positions. And what you wish it to do is to hold. You do not wish it to move. So, you left click and press hold. Now, if you press play, it'll go in the middle and it'll stay there. See? Very simple. Now, you can speed this up as well. How do you do that? Well, if your footage is, say, uh, five seconds long, and for some reason you wanted all that to happen within two seconds, you can change 
these keyframes by sliding them in. Move this one a bit over, I guess. So now it's going to travel much faster. Whoop. Whoop. See? Very simple. Now, also, uh, just before I go, if you're happy with everything, uh, now you can apply some funky colors to it, change your text, and all you need to do is just double, cl uh, just double click, and brings open your text window again, and then uh, you can change all the attributes in your text. Um, if you double click or drag across your highlighted, you can then change everything you want. So I'm just going to use a style palette. Just to be honest, I'm just lazy. I'm going to go to fonts. I might choose uh, uh, this font here, Jakeman. Double click. Then I'm going to go back to my text. I might look for a bevel gradient. Yeah, that looks good. And then close my window. Update that. Close it. And then I'm going to press play. There you go. So if you're happy with all that, apply it to your footage and press play. So there you go, my friends. Uh, it's quite easy to play with font and text to do whatever it is you wish to do with it. And as always, thanks for watching.